Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think by leaving a comment. And of course, if you like this video or if it's helpful, please like and share. Today, I will be looking at preparing the virtual questionnaire for your SBA. What will you need? Your questions and your respondent's email address. Of course, you would have created the questions already. If you need help with that, I have a video on it. Let's get you started creating your virtual questionnaire. First thing I'm going to do is to go to Google. Great. And then I'm going to go all the way over here where you see the profile picture. I'm going to go on these nine dots to find drive. Hit the drive button and it's going to take me to this page. Of course, you would have seen all some of the documents that I have already created in Google Drive. I'm going to go ahead and hit new. More and Google Forms, because this is where I want to go, to Google Forms. I will be using Google Forms to create the questionnaire. Now, if you hit this arrow, it will take you to a blank form or from a template. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and use a blank form. The first thing you realize on your form is that it is untitled. It has no name. So I'm going to go right ahead and feel free to give it whatever name you want to, but I'm going to give it um, the principles of business school based assessment questionnaire. Right, and then just below that is a description. Now in the description, what you need is to perhaps just ask them to please complete each question below by selecting the most appropriate response, right? That's my description. Now, the next thing you notice to your left is that you still have an untitled form here. I'm going to just go ahead and click it to get the name of my form up there. There you go, All right? Now you notice just below your description is this untitled question. This is where your first question is gonna go. Now I'm not gonna be completing an entire questionnaire because I have no questions right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to create the questionnaire. So in this untitled, you may want to have, because you may want to do something on the gender. So let's go ahead and put that in there, gender. And your option below that, you could just write male. And this being a Google form, when you click down here, you're going to see female as well. And that is what I want, male, female. I don't know. What if you want to add another one and say, call it other? Because I don't know. Right? Of course, we want this to be a multiple choice question type. So we're going to hit this arrow if it wasn't a multiple choice, and then you would select multiple choice. Now, for this assessment, this school based assessment, the two types of questions that you will use are multiple choice type questions and short answer type questions. So when is that you're ready for the short answer type question, you will just hit the short answer button. So for now, we're looking at the 
the multiple choice type question, so we select the multiple choice type. And we move to our next question. Now, when you're ready to add your next question, this button to the right, this addition button that's in this circle thingy, it gives you the option to add another question. And so you just hit it and you get your other question. Now, I'm going to put a short answer question type. Now, one thing, one thing of note before we move to the next question is this required button. This is it being off. This is it being on. Ensure that you check that button and it is on because you want your respondents to be able to answer all of the questions before the form is submitted. If it is off for a particular question, then chances are they can submit that questionnaire with that question not done. We don't want that. We want all the questions to be completed. So we're going to ensure that we check this. The required is on for all of our questions. Now I'm going to do a short answer question here. So I'm going to ask, uh, how How do you feel about attending classes online for September? Now for the options, I want it to be, I want them to give me their response. I'm not giving them the responses. So I'm gonna change this to a short answer question and ensure that the required button is checked. Now, when you are done with your questions, you ensure, now we, we want to perhaps, if you want to, personalize this questionnaire, you can go to this paint palette and select your color choice. Pink is mine. So I go ahead and check that pink one. Um, and the background, we can add a background. Another pink there for me. Um, if I want to choose an image for my header, we could go to the work and school since this is an educational project and we could hit this one and click insert and there you have it we have our nice header we have our color background now importantly the font styles that we have the one that is basic is the best one for the questionnaire i think and so we would leave it basic right what else do you need to know about creating your questionnaire your virtual questionnaire because guess what it is COVID time and we still do not want to be interfacing with people too much but we want to get this out of the way and so the easiest way is to email it to your respondents have them answering and emailing they don't have to email it back to you once they have completed and hit submit you will check the response button when you check it you can see how many persons responded no one has responded as yet because we have not sent it off it says waiting for responses so go back to the question now i'm gonna ensure that this is set so i go to we plug the emails in and I'm gonna just go ahead and send it to myself. Right? And hit the send button right here and your respondents receive. Right? As simple as that is your virtual school-based assessment questionnaire. I hope this was helpful and if it is, don't be afraid to hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for future videos. Have a great one. Thank you so much for watching.